Good afternoon from Colorado Custom Coachworks. Uh, today is like the fourth day. What's up, John? I, think, I, don't, I don't think John's ever seen me do this before. Today is now like the fourth day after working. The guys took off, so I had like three days rest. I was doing some crazy work on the computer. I cranked out like 10 videos, I had to schedule them. The reason I had, well, there was a little delay once I got here was because I was working my butt off. And when people show up ready to work at nine in the morning, I'm a morning editor and I, I'm not gonna spend three hours editing while they're working on my bus. So that's, uh, sorry for the little delay. Uh, today I have uh, another helpful person coming into the shop, um, Wanderboom. They hit me up and they happen to also be ex-cabinet makers. Um, so, so this is the status of the bus, same as you saw in the previous video. Uh, they do have a little leak of some sort, so uh, I will cross my fingers they make it today. Um, if not, I've just been kind of kind of enjoying a little downtime, relaxing, but there is uh, some work I need to do in here. Also, um, I think I mentioned I had a, a, a new Patreon, JJ. <laughs> well, JJ sent me a, a gift package of stuff. Whoops. Um, and I don't really know, dang, really, hold on one sec, <laughs> let's see what we got in here, <laughs> awesome, everybody needs a toothbrush, everybody needs to smell uh, nice and fresh, it looks like we got some, uh, this is uh, <laughs> my favorite kind of uh, toothpaste here too, we got some like chips, some twisties, some chocolates, chocolate covered num nums, and I don't know what this is. <laughs> awesome, now I can smell like uh, Jack's can smell like Jack. So thanks dude, really appreciate it. Right, it is the uh, next day. Uh, <laughs> looks like uh, Wander Boom has a uh, boo boo in the engine. So uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna throw in my suit and try and give him a hand. I uh, uh, text badge, I'll probably give him a call. I think it's the uh, fuel filter housing. Uh, something's going on with that. Uh, anyways, uh, also I got bus life back from uh, uh, Brian, the guy I sold my bus to. He resold it to someone else. Uh, so I was able to snag the plates. And uh, yeah, let's go check in with uh, Wanderboom and see what the heck's going on. All right, so here's Wanderboom. He uh, apparently is already starting without me. I thought I was gonna be the one to Give him a hand here, but it. Well, I happened to have the book, so I started following the, the basics of what the book said to get some things out of the That's way cool. and stuff. That's cool. Yeah. So that is that a way. repair book? Yeah, it's actually the the, the Ford E3, uh, two, E Series two, 2005. I got it on eBay for about 100 bucks. So probably well worth it. Yeah. That's only gonna, one one hour or less of labor, guys. Yeah. So if you get one of these mechanic books, maybe Badge could comment uh, in the video and tell people what kind, and I'll uh, pin it, Badge, if you uh, if you see this, but. Looks like he's uh, with very little experience mechanically. Almost none. I mean, I'm a carpenter. Yeah, yeah. definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely not as much on the mechanical stuff. And by the way, this is Eric. He's gonna help me out for the next couple of weeks or so. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. finish up the bus. Do some trimming nice. and all kinds of things. <laughs> cool. All right. So. so I got some more good news. We got uh, Jamie from uh, our most excellent family adventure. The bus is named. Rufus. Rufus. Uh, just like uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. What's up, man? I don't think we officially met. What was your name? Jensen. Jensen. Very nice to meet you. So, uh, Jamie just uh, asked me earlier today if I wanted basically a pretty good condition seat uh, with lumbar support and all that fun stuff that my seat doesn't have. And I said, well, heck yeah. So, we're going to pull this thing out and uh, we'll get this mounted yeah, in the school bus. To... I just got this rad seat, so I'm gonna gift a toy or a game uh, to you guys and your family as just a little thank you. Thanks. It's really fun. You just match the uh, the little you know cherry with the cherry on it. Every single card matches. Oh, and by the way, if anybody wants a good game on the road, this is a fun one. Cool. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, guys. Uh, I helped out with the uh, second fuel filter. Apparently, six O's have two. There's one up top and one down below. I had to get a little catch pan and let's see. It is right there. So 
uh, definitely get one of those books, uh, one of those uh, mechanic books. That probably is worth its weight in gold right there. I mean, the mechanics are $100 an hour plus, and that book is 100 bucks. so... Uh, There's a, a, another whole other book with it, too, the same size, so it's a, it's a lot of information. <laughs> nice. So, so uh, yeah, we just, uh, they were super black, and uh, so they should be good to go. Uh, fuel pressure was building up, came outside of the O-ring, and uh, caused a concern for them, so I'm glad it's nothing serious. Yeah. <laughs> Big time saving. Right on. My personal opinion, I would never buy another uh, short bus van cutaway. They're just way too hard to work on for beginners like me and intermediates, you know, who are better than me. Uh, I mean, shoot, they're even hard for advanced people like Badge to work on. It's just, uh, whew. I mean, sometimes the easiest thing to do with those things is you raise the, the whole chassis off of the, uh, you raise the body off the chassis. Um, a lot of shops do that because they're really hard to work on. So uh, I prefer my school bus of choice, the one with the engine in the front. Some people like uh, the front engine flat nose. Some people like the rear engine flat nose. Like this uh, bus over here, but uh, yeah, glad that's done. We'll go out and talk with him and, and see uh, see what he thinks on the inside. We did a little walkthrough already, and uh, we're just trying to figure things out. Figure things out here. <laughs> All right, so right now, uh, me and Wanderboom Eric are uh, making a little list. We're making measurements uh, for the future closet, and he's actually convinced me to put a hanger. Even though I swore up and down I wouldn't put a hanging uh, closet in here, but he said, well, for future resale. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> um, so that's going to be a possibility there. We also made a couple little measurements, uh, just kind of brainstorming some ideas. And boy, oh boy, am I thankful to have you, man. I am not a builder. I don't have a background in building. Uh, I have a background in social media, Hosting, you know, editing, and, and you know, so uh, so I'm, I'm very thankful to have you because this is a little bit more complex than making a YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I feel like the same way about making a YouTube video. So well, uh, we, uh, we, we'll, the exchange will be good. We'll I'll trade you for yeah. sure. I'll teach you everything I know. <laughs> All right, Eric, give us a quick update. What are we doing? What's what do you got in your hand there? All right. Well, we've got a list of what's remaining to be done on the bus. We're trying to break it down by. Uh, what's the most important and what needs to be done first for the next thing. <laughs> and uh, okay. working out more of the details for how we're going to work the closet, what yep. we're going to do in the bathroom. There's an idea for a closet. It's yep. a little cubby hole, cubby hole. Cubby holes all the way up and then a, a hanger. Yep. Uh, Some fine architectural drafting there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, uh, yeah. And then, you know, just kind of getting a rough idea so we can get our heads wrapped around everything and yep. uh, know what we got to. Yeah. We're going to... A little material run to go get some stuff to uh, keep it going. Yeah. So, uh, also, I think while <laughs> Eric is doing some of his jobs, I have my own list of jobs to do. So, one of which is to put a water inlet uh, basically right in line with uh, this black uh, rub here because uh, it's gravity fed, right? So, you got to have it up high and then you can't have a tank above a certain height, just, you know, gravity. Uh, a couple other things, but we won't get into it, but I'm trying to sort out. Propane, <laughs> gotta yeah. drill a hole for that. Water, uh, shower drain, sink drain, and we might have a little change on the sink. We were talking about that, so you guys will have to stay tuned for that. Yeah.